most people, in, especially in Africa with the paganistic churches that we have today, most people actually think that when we talk about satanic attack or spiritual attack or demonic attack, most people just automatically assume that it means that someone is demon possessed. So if Satan is attacking you now, instead of, if let's say you are under satanic attack right now, like we saw yesterday, people can't, they begin to cast demons out of you, especially if you are an ordinary person, if you are not a minister's wife or a governor's wife or something. They begin to cast things out of, so it's just, it just making a whole mess, making it to appear as if anybody that has a problem is demon possessed. But it is not true. To find somebody that is demon possessed will really take a lot of time. To find somebody that is demon possessed, you really need to be initiated and to surrender your will. Satan cannot just come and possess you without you knowing. Satan cannot just come and possess you just like that, just jump on you. You know, it, there is a lot of process that must involve your will, just like you now. For you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you needed to include, I mean, to, to include your will. Your willpower is needed for you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, isn't it? Yeah. For you to receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you needed to repent and commit your life to him. Yeah. Your will was needed in that sense. The same thing today. There is no one that Satan can just come without your will and enter into you. So all those things that we see in churches that are happening in churches um, that they just call people out and some, the person knows that he's not demon possessed. Okay, like Pastor, no, like Brother Chris said yesterday. He left home. I mean, anybody will leave home normal and has been be going to that church normal every day normal and you just get to church that day. The pastor will call you and say you are demon possessed. Ah -ah. And you, you don't even know about it. All that thing is Nollywood film. <laughs> it's Nollywood cinema. There is just no way for you to just come out of church. You are normal, no, no demon. And then before church and now, and you get to the church and pastor is now saying you are demon possessed. And yesterday you were there, you was you are not demon possessed. Then before yesterday you were there, you are not. You are in that choir. One, one year, two years, three years, you are not demon possessed. And one day you just come. Or, or you came with your mother and you say, oh, my mother is having problem. Oh. You say, ah, okay. Now I see the demon in you. Why should you leave me see the demon in you because you came with the problem? So they have just messed up the reputation of the gospel, of the Bible, or reputation of, of Jesus. So it is, it is, it is, it is scary. It is, it is a disgrace. So, you know, just for you to know, when we talk about satanic attack, spiritual attack, or demonic attack. It doesn't it have to be demon possession. But what I'm thinking right now is that maybe all these pastors, eh, maybe they themselves don't know who. I think they might be ignorant themselves. Because the way they are behaving, as if they have lost their mind. As if, I, I think it's just because they themselves might be ignorant. I think the pastors might be thinking, because first of all, they want to use, they need spectacle, of course. I mean, they need as things that are spectacular and that are you know, demo, you know, manifestation. Okay, they want to build their own reputation as powerful men of God. But on the other hand, would, who could, I don't think they would, they themselves believe it, that Satan is in that person. Or maybe if they believe it, then they have to be very, very ignorant about how Satan works. Mm -hmm. So Satan doesn't necessarily work through demon possession. It's a long, long way. It's a hard process to become demon possessed. And you see, even we who are Christians, it is not easy for anybody who is not born again to just become a Christian. For him to become a Christian, someone has to preach to him. For him to become a Christian, he has to believe in it. For him to become a Christian, he has to accept Christ into his heart. The same thing with Satan. Someone has to convince you. That is like we preach. They also have to, have to preach to you too. So for you to become demon possessed, someone has to initiate you or propagate to you or evangelize you or convince you. Then you must accept. You must accept that 
you agree to partner with that demon. Then number three, you must uh, you must give in to that demon. That is for you to be demon possessed. Now, the problem that our pastors are having is that they often mistake demonic oppression for demonic possession. That is totally different. There is a big difference between being demonic, I mean, uh, being possessed and being oppressed. Totally different. To be oppressed is to be attacked. Satanic attack on you, but that doesn't mean that it's in you. When you are possessed, that means Satan is in living inside of you. A demon is living inside of you. But when you are oppressed, he, Satan is just attacking you from outside. It's attacking your body, your mind, or something like that. So it's totally different. But when do, are, so when Satan is oppressing you, you don't need to cast out demons from somebody in that case. When satanic oppression is happening, you, you don't need deliverance. You don't need, Satan doesn't need to be cast out of you. You know, you just need to go or somebody needs to, or you yourself or somebody needs to go and take authority and rebuke that satanic oppression. And command, that's why the Bible says that resist the enemy, resist the devil, and it will flee from you. So what you needed to do is just to resist the enemy, and it was going to flee from you. That is concerning satanic oppression. But when we are talking about you no know, demon possession, that like Satan is in you and people, everybody is doing, playing like that, it's not easy to come across. And even not every unbeliever is demon possessed. Not even every idol worshiper is demon possessed. Not even people who are doing worship, they are demon possessed. Like I said yesterday about my story. And all, almost Africans, we had all of us had some, you know, you know play, some, uh, some, you know, idolatry background. Yet we are not demon possessed. So somebody is saying, DSA, I, what about these people, those people who claim to have been possessed from the womb or from childhood without their awareness? Uh, you know, I've had stories like that, but I'm not sure, well, you know, even those people that were initiated before they were born from the womb, they don't automatically become demon possessed. You know what could be done is that, like for example, you are pregnant. You can now say, just like Anna did with Samuel. Samuel, I mean, when she was pregnant, she said, I'm going to, when this child is born, I'm going to dedicate this child to the Lord, right? But that child is, that is a commitment and a promise. But after that child is born, so the mother now, we have to take the child to the shrine or to the temple and dedicate. So to now say, you know, they were demon possessed from, he's still not demon possessed. He's just dedicated. It's just dedication. But to be demon possessed, that child, will, no, they, they will not show that child until that child is made to accept. Or after, after he's born, or either when he's still small or later on, he will still, after he's born, he will still need to accept that those demons before they go into her. They cannot go into her before you know, why she's still in the stomach. So those things is important for you to know. So when somebody comes to you in church next time, or anybody that is listening now, when somebody comes to you in the church, pastor, a man of God, and say, you are demon possessed, come out, you say, you know, if you are demon possessed, you will know. You will know that you are initiated. You will know the time you are initiated. You will know what process, gruesome process you have gone through. For you to be demon possessed. You will know when you submitted. Just like you know that you are a church member. Or you are a believer. Just like you know that you are born again. And you know who spoke to you. How they invited you. How they initiated you to Christianity. Or how they invited you to Christianity. How they evangelized you. I would say. How they preached to you. 
Uh -huh. Also, you will, you will remember when you received Jesus Christ, you all of them, what happened? Where? The same thing. So if somebody now comes to you and says you have demon, and you don't remember, you know nothing has happened, just give that man a dirty slap. Uh -huh. Give him a dirty slap, make him come off a road. <laughs> Maybe he will get the revelation. Give him a dirty slap. So that he will not do it to the next person the next day. <laughs> so that next time, he will leave he don't send people alone. It's just like one person called from London the other day and said, I knew this person though. This person was my girlfriend. And now can they be saying she's demon possessed? So she went and instructed her and said that, okay, next time, when he wants to cast out demon from you, and he was always liking casting out demon from the lady because I think the lady was dramatic. So, I mean, those preachers, they like drama. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it was she was her favorite demon cast no demon uh, patient. They want to be casting demons out of. So the next day she did the pastor didn't know that, <laughs> that the girlfriend had instructed the lady that when next time tomorrow now I mean next Sunday now when we go to church when he begins to call you out to cast demon out of you go out. But when he begins to expect you to roll down and begin, just put your leg and put, place your leg on his shoe <laughs> so that he himself will not be able to move. And then by the time he tries to push you, just hold on to his tie and his jacket and say, me, I'm not going anywhere this time. No more dancing around. <laughs> so when the guy did, when the lady did it, the, 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 the man of God, the prophet, got the message. <laughs> you know what happened? From that day, that prophet, he didn't move there. <laughs> From that day, that prophet picked race. <laughs> It, it will move, it, move, it, be, it began to look another direction. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Please, if you have not yet shared this, they make you go share fast, fast. So, any one of you, you know your relatives, if they stigmatize any one of your people and say it's demon possessed, ask the person, do you remember when Uni initiated you? When? Where? On what occasion? If there was nothing like that, know that that man is a false prophet. Show him the door out. If he don't, if he cannot slap him, don't worry. Leave him, JJ. Leave that church and go and put an article in the newspaper for him. Go and put an article in the newspaper and say, this is what happened with this man. No, I was not demon possessed, not to know. The guy just wanted to victimize me. And then, if he's in Europe, take it to court. Because he's stigmatizing you, spoiling your name, disgracing you publicly, you know, accusing you of what you don't have. So you can take him to court. Because to be demon possessed is not easy. It's not just so easy like that. But there, so that is the least, that is the least area of satanic attack. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button. And the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, Leave your comments. Let's know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram, and every other platform that you have. All right? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much. <laughs>